spent a lot of time in the girls' bathroom. <laughs> Admittedly, the bathroom has a unique smell and is not what you might call beautiful. However, throughout my time at Parker, I have found the girls' bathroom to be a great place of sanctuary, risk-taking, and silliness. Some of the most fun that I have had in high school has been in the bathroom. <laughs> this is where the real girl bonding occurs, and where many hilarities were born, such as waffling. Waffling consists of crouching on a toilet seat and then popping up like a waffle from a toaster, so your head sticks up over the stall. And then the foam soap dispensers were installed. We soon discovered the joy of pumping foam soap into our palms and then slapping our hands together with gusto. And then there was standing on the toilet, grabbing the top of the stall doors, flipping over, and walking on the ceiling, leaving mysterious footprints for people to wonder about. <laughs> yes, in the bathroom, frivolity flourished. Amidst the slew of our bathroom creations, the bathroom also served as a changing room whenever I was in school plays, which were a huge part of my Parker life. The girls' bathroom is where the actresses came together before a play. The bathroom was a launching pad into something that was a real risk, getting up on stage. The bathroom was my sanctuary, a place to be myself. Parker has helped me to grow so much that I don't need the bathroom anymore. <laughs> we all need to leave our safety zones and take risks. As soon as we become too comfortable, it's time to move on. Maybe I'm glad I'm not spending the rest of my life in the Parker bathroom, and I don't recommend that you do either. But having a place where I could be myself, have fun, find happiness, and, um, and oh, was an immeasurably important aspect of my school. Although I'm leaving this place and this bathroom that has become like my second home, I'm ready to explore places and find new bathrooms to help me along the way. <laughs> Introduce my teacher, John Bohannon.